Across the North American continent, wolves had a rough time of it for the past few centuries. In the eastern areas of the United States and Canada, the eastern wolf was hunted and poisoned relentlessly. As the wolves retreated, coyotes moved in to fill the void. Eventually, somewhere in Canada's Ontario province, the two species came together. The result of mating produced a wolf-coyote hybrid that has developed advantages that allows it to thrive. According to an article in Smithsonian, the eastern coyote, also referred to as a koi wolf, is exploding in numbers across the eastern region of the U.S. and Canada. These guys are getting a lot of attention these days, as they have apparently spread as far south as Virginia and are starting to pop up in urban areas as well as in forests. There was even a report of a possible eastern coyote sighting in Chicago back in August, though there are other possible explanations noted as more likely for that animal. The combining of traits between these two canines makes for a more versatile and therefore survivable animal. Coyotes dislike hunting in forests. Wolves prefer it, said Dr. Roland Kays of North Carolina State University in an interview with The Economist. Interbreeding has produced an animal skilled at catching prey in both open terrain and densely wooded areas. And even their cries blend those of their ancestors. The first part of a howl resembles a wolf's with a deep pitch, but this then turns into a higher pitched coyote-like yipping. As for the breed, it is estimated that the koi wolf has 25 to 35% wolf blood, either Eastern or Western. They tend to have up to 10% genetic contribution from large domesticated dogs like Doberman Pinscher or German Shepherd, and the rest being coyote. They are believed to be continuing to mate with either wolves or dogs, so they are not yet classified as their own separate species. Some speculate that the domestic dog input is part of the reason why they do not seem to fear humans as much as standard coyotes, and often make their homes in and among people in urban areas, and their population is believed to be numbering in the millions by now. The eastern coyote is a bit larger than their purebred cousins, weighing in at up to 45 pounds and growing to 5 feet from head to tail. With the increase in size, it is possible for koi wolves to hunt larger prey like small deer. Small animals like rabbits and rodents are normal fare for the koi wolf, though they will also dine on berries and fruit. Like coyotes, they are also opportunistic and will scavenge and steal from humans when given the chance. While koi wolves will generally avoid humans, they are less predictable than coyotes and can be more aggressive. They can also be a danger to domesticated pets, so keeping dogs and cats inside or in a very well-protected enclosure is recommended if koi wolves are believed to be in the area. While their preferred area is still primarily in the northeast U.S. and into Canada, some scientists say the eastern coyote may be the most adaptable animal on the planet, so that range may increase as the years go by. Pet owners should also remember that standard coyotes can also be a hazard, and they are found throughout most of the United States. Koi wolves are discernible from pure coyotes not only from their size but by some key body proportions. They have longer legs and a longer body. They also have a larger jaw. Their ears are smaller and their tails tend to be bushier. Like wolves, they are very social animals and will generally live in families of three to five when food is abundant. Their color can vary widely, going from blonde, reddish, to dark tan and blackish. The eastern coyote is not the only hybrid out there. There are koi dogs whose roots in captivity date back to pre-Columbian times in North America. Red wolves are said to have some coyote in them, and there are coyote wolf hybrids in the Northwest and in Mexico as well. All of this goes to show that wildlife is ever evolving and will continue to adapt and change to meet the challenges and hardships encountered along the way. Don't stop here, find out more. Visit the links in the description below for more in-depth information on the stories presented in this video.